Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So I'm here with your weekly oracle card guidance and we're using the Heart of the Fae oracle deck. And we have three options here. We have this large stone. We have the singing bowl here. Um, and we have a bowl of herbs. Okay, please go ahead, make your selection. And it's number one, number two, and number three. And anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start with the reading. So for those of you who've chosen the first option here, we're asking, what is your oracle guidance? And what have you come here to hear? And we have the card, the Queen of Owls. So I, um, the card came out reversed, but I don't read these cards in the reverse position. It's the number six. So for me, the message here is that you've got to understand how you are in your relationships and what it is that are your relationships with people contribute to your well-being. So who are you when you interact with a friend? And who are you when you interact with your parent or with uh a work um, person at work, an employee or somebody, a colleague at work, who are you in these different environments? And are you taking something of yourself in all of these spaces, something that's authentic, something that's about your own soul and what your path is here? I feel here that um, it's important to recognize that you are a single thread uh, that goes between these people and goes out in the world and that as you go into interactions with people that you're leaving a little bit of yourself behind you are making an impact and and this week it's about realizing that it's about realizing the impact that you're making on people that you you see and and asking yourself well am i making the impact that i'm supposed to be making here am i making the impact that i want to make am i leaving the impression that i want to leave and this is not something that comes from ego where you're hoping that, you know, they like you or you're trying to make a good impression. This is about leaving an impression with your soul, leaving an impression with that which is pure and pristine from you, something that's unique to you, leaving your footprint or your fingerprint behind, so to say. And I think that here the the reason that this has come up is because it's almost to say, well, you know, there is a situation where you could be losing yourself or you could be a different person in different environments and you forsake some of your authenticity in the in the process. You leave behind something of which you you are in order to fit in, in order to be a part of those relationships. And you think that it's necessary to do so. But here I'm getting the message that it isn't the case, that it actually is that you should be yourself in all of these spaces and you know as you go along and you observe yourself interacting whether it's with a cashier at a supermarket or whether it's um at at some place wherever you are somebody on the bus that you look at and uh, who's made eye contact with you and you have to feel you have to understand what are you feeling when you are with this person or with when you are interacting with this person what are they actually leaving with what of you are they leaving with? What if what of you are are you sharing with them um, of yourself that is beautiful and and wonderful and that is a blessing, not just to you but to them as well. So I feel that you will be observed in this time and that this is a week as you go along that you will find that people may take a keen interest in you, or you may take a keen interest in them, or both. Um, and that you become more mindful as you go along and as you interact with the world around you. I feel here that there would be some around you who would be waiting for this. Uh, people that you see on a regular basis will be happy to to observe you in this way. And there will be others who will be wondering uh, where does this come from and who are you? Who is the real you? And I feel that... What is important here is just to remain in purity. It's really just to remain um, true to yourself along the way and, and not to have to lie, not to have to hide anything about you, but simply to 
be. Okay, so even if there's something about yourself that you expect not to be well received, it's important for you to still be yourself in this situation. I would like to read to you uh, what is in the book here um, uh, for the Queen of Owls. So as you can see, I'm just going to place that over the card. And it reads, I'll, I will read it to you. It says, the Queen of Owls, physical healing, wholeness and wellness. This is the bright queen of physical healing. When the physical body is unbalanced or in pain, it can be difficult to find connection to anything other than pain or disease. Relationships can falter and fail when all of your attention pivots on dealing with pain. When your physical body becomes the only thing you can focus on, turn to this bright, gentle being. She radiates wholeness and wellness and can help you find the inner strength you need to come through disease into healing and health again. The pain is real, the disease is real, but the power to heal is real and within you as well. Concentrate on her image and reconnect with the healing energies of the fairy. So this is in this card, uh, what they what they're basically saying, or well, in this book, what they're basically saying is that this person is something that you can concentrate on that's outside of you. Uh, and where I'm differing in this is that I'm saying that this is you, this is something that's an aspect of you that needs to come forth. And so it's about looking into you and asking yourself, well, where is it that I am bringing my unique self out there? And you know, is it murky? Is it something that's being covered, blocked by influences of the outside world? Or am I truly being myself in this moment? And then balancing your life in that process. And I feel that here, this card, um, as the author states that it's about healing and physical well-being as well. And, you know, if that resonates with you, then please go ahead and, and, um, use that message. So the other message I would take away from this and having read the con uh, the context within which the author places this card would be to say that you can overcome physical disease as well as um, any illness that you may have, any sickness that you may have by tapping into that part of you, inside of you, that is unique and that is um, pure and that aspect of you which is authentic, that part of you which is your soul, that part of you that belongs to a greater consciousness, and that part of you that's only you in this um, in this greater consciousness. So I would take that away from it as well. And of course, you could use the guidance here, pause the video, and simply just focus on this uh, f on this image and feel yourself coming through this. Feel yourself coming through and above all the other energies that are around you right now so that you can actually be able to focus on yourself and, and just bring yourself into a new dimension. So that's your reading for this week. Uh, those of you who've chosen the option number one uh, right here. I wish you all a fabulous week as you go along and many, many blessings to you. Please stay healthy, safe and well. Lots of love to you. So for those of you who've chosen the singing bowl here, I actually haven't used the singing bowl in a long time and um, I'm trying to get a sound out of it, but I think I need to work a little harder or a little longer with it. So I'm going to leave it for the moment and work with it a bit later. But for those of you who've chosen this as an option, um, that is the second option, I'm going to go ahead here and shuffle your cards for you. So we're asking, what is it that we need to know right now? What is the message that you've come here to hear? It's so the number 12. We have the Prince of Light. Okay. So this card here talks to me about being able to go forth and be able to express yourself in this week in a way that uh, you uh, command the attention of others in a way that is a force in itself. So it's talking about actually being, um, you know, not being weighed down by others' opinions, not being weighed down by the thoughts of others or the beliefs of others, because that can be quite static and it can 
keep you um, in a in a hanging man position in the tarot. It can keep you in limbo. It can keep you stuck for a while. And this card is talking about movement, forward movement, and um, bringing things to conclusion. I want to say here that um, that I would I would focus in this card on the purity of purpose. What is your purpose in this week and where is it that you need to go to and how is it that you are going to push forth in this it's important as you move along that you have the purity of purpose that you're doing something with good of heart and uh, not because you feel like you have to do it or because you feel like you know it's expected of you or you find yourself now in a corner and that you have to push forth but you actually go forth with an open heart and really just give it your all um and I want to say that it feels here that some of you might have committed to something and that, you know, you have to find a way to be able to to push forth and do it, something that you don't necessarily want to do. Here it feels to me that this is an opportunity. This is an opportunity here that's coming up for you and that there are rewards in this, even though it may not seem as if there are rewards in it right now. You might find yourself being the brightest light, shining the brightest than anyone else in your environment. And you might not want to be there because of it. You might think, oh, this is not the place for me. I don't belong here. I need to be doing something else. I need to be in a better place. But your being there is actually going to help um, influence people for the better as you move along. So have faith that just your presence in this moment is actually going to be assisting you as you go along and as you move forth in this time. I feel here that, you know, there may there will be many who will celebrate you being in this situation. There will be many that will celebrate you being there and being a part of this um, equation and being part of this world. And as you go forth, it's necessary to to recognize that and feel appreciated. And regardless of the one or two people who may look upon you slyly and wonder what is your true agenda, you need not worry about them because it's important that you actually pay attention to where it is that you're going to. Now, this card, once again, it feels quite similar to the first card, and um, but I think it's quite different in that this person has a mission uh, okay, you have a mission this week. You have something that you need to actually work with and get across. There is um, a determination that's here. There is something that like uh, a sense of, of knowing where you want to be already. It's a sense of kind of being on the journey, but you already in your mind have arrived at where you need to be and having complete faith, having absolute faith in where you're headed to. And so this is what I see for you right now. I feel like, you know, when people talk about you being God's child and uh, you, you're you the child of God and that nothing can touch you, that's the kind of feeling of this um, this card here. It's it's that that's what, what it's talking about. It's about being on a mission, being able to accomplish something, being able to go forth regardless of what is around you right now and really being okay with that, really being at one with that. I feel here as you go along, you'll also have some support around you. You'll have some support um, along the way and that you need not be afraid. I don't think that there is a sense that there's space for, for being afraid. I don't think that there is um, any space to to think otherwise uh, because this person's goals are so full and so... Um, you know, it's so powerful and it's in its own right. And I think that as you go along, it's it's something that you will be supported in because once you have this de determination and this purity of purpose, I feel like forces come around you to rally you and to push you forth in this. So it's only about that. It's about what is it that you actually want. And um, it's not about how you can go about achieving it. It's about just what is it that you want right now? What is it that you want to to accomplish and I feel like for you this is going to be like coming full circle it feels to me like this one thing that you do now this last leg of this run um is actually going to be what completes something okay so um you can also look back 12 years and see where you were then and what did you want to achieve then or 13 years maybe what did you wish for at that time what is it that you wanted more than anything and are you able to bring it to fruition right now if you haven't been able to already? So I think that that card has uh, some of that in it as well. So I hope that's been helpful for you and uh, let me know if it resonates. Wishing you all a lovely week as you go along. Many, many blessings to you all. 
so for those of you who've chosen the bowl of herbs, you know, I have a bit of sage and some more dried sage and a bit of burnt sage in here, as well as some other uh, kind of herbs underneath. I think some bay leaves or some cinnamon. Yeah. Um, so if you, for those of you who've chosen the third option here, we are asking, what is it that you need to know right now? What have you come here to hear? And what is your message as you go along in this week? Okay, so we have the number seven, the queen of hearth and home is the card. Okay, so for, the, for some of you, I feel like uh, this card might be a confirmation. Okay, if you've been wanting to hear something about um, changing homes, about moving, about buying a new home, about um, changing dormitories or changing uh, living spaces on any level, this is a card that indicates that you sh that it's fine to go ahead and do that. It's also talking about being able to tap into that which you believe brings you comfort, which you know brings you comfort, and being able to expand that, um, being able to bring it to another level, um, to let it explode in you, to let it bring it to an another, another, you know, um, another level, just bring it fully fully into into being and i feel here that uh this is something that is lacking it's almost like there hasn't been much attention uh lately to simple things around your home and if this card isn't about you moving or about uh changing spaces it's really about becoming more um at home in your home uh, so perhaps you could change out a few things perhaps you could uh shift the energy a bit by by moving some furniture uh clearing the air perhaps getting some pot plants or putting some plants out what you need right now is that you need that coziness that you have at home you need to feel well at home but that there is a need for some kind of shake up there's a need for some kind of thing to change before you can actually feel that feeling of being at home and i think that you know or the message that i'm getting here is that as you go along right now, your body is your first glove and your your home is your second glove, you know, and it's important to recognize that it's important to recognize that whatever you surround yourself with in your home is impacting you on a daily basis. It's impacting the way you, you feel, the way you breathe, the way you interact with the world, the way you feel about yourself, the way you feel about your goals, the way you feel about life in general. And I think that it's important to recognize that at this moment. So see where it is that you can make some small improvements around the house. And this doesn't have to cost you anything. It could be that you recycle something or you um, just change something out, exchange something. You know, perhaps you just need to take down the curtains and wash them or clean your blinds or um, just simply give the place a spring clean almost. I know for some of you in the Northern Hemisphere, obviously, you are not going to spring, you're going to autumn. But I feel here that this card is talking about that. It's talking about actually cleaning up a bit, shaking things up, changing the energy and going inward and feeling at home in your home, allowing your homes to support you. So when you clean your home and you give it that energy, you show that you're interested in your in your home and that you, you wear your, your home as a glove, as a sleeve almost. Then what you're saying here is that uh, I respect my home and I respect the ability for my home to support me in all of this. But if you are not interested and you don't give too much of uh, trouble over your home um, and it, it's been the same for a long time or you haven't really you know perhaps it's cleaned but you haven't actually changed the energy of it what you're saying to that is that well I don't actually care too much about how my home supports me now your home is going to support you anyway regardless but you need to be able to in order to be able to access the most out of this to be able to gain the most out of this you need to be able to shake up that energy just cleanse that space and look you can cleanse the space by using sage or frankincense or um um, some some wood sticks, um, Palo Santo, or um, any of those things. But here, this is talking a little bit more about that. It's talking about being actively engaged in creating your home, in nesting, 
in a way, in being able to pull the, your home around you, to comfort you, to protect you, to help you as you go forth, to give you that support that you need. So what is it that you can do for yourself right now in your home that could be able to do that as you, uh, those of you in the Northern Hemisphere, you know, uh, tumble down into the 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 Christmas period and um and those of you in the in the southern hemisphere who are actually just preparing yourself you in spring and you're preparing yourself for a whole new year in a way there's untapped power here um that's the message that I'm getting there's untapped power in you there's a power there's a resources that's not being used so perhaps you have some books that you haven't read or perhaps you have some things that you um, some hobby items that you've been you have around your house that's not being used. Do you have a sewing machine? Have you used it recently? Do you have some something at home, an instrument that hasn't been used or that's just lying around? What do you have in your home that's not been accessed? What not been touched? Do you have a language course that's sitting around waiting for you to complete it? There is something here. There's untapped potential. There's a lot that can be done. There's um, it feels to me that this person is so wealthy, like you are so wealthy, you're so rich and you have so many things. And it doesn't necessarily mean you've got to have loads of money in your bank account, but rather that you have so access to so much, you have so much of access and that it's just a matter of being able to use it. And I feel like here, if you're able to clear the energy in your home or shake up the energy in your home and let your home support you in the process, then what's going to happen is that you're going to be able to more easily um, be able to use some of these things that are at your avail in your home. So look at what is there waiting for you to, to do. You know, perhaps um, it's it's waiting for you to draw a mural on your wall. Perhaps it's waiting for you simply to paint your wall and in doing so, you find that you really enjoy it and that gives you a great sense of calm, a meditative feeling, and it's something that really um, empowers you in, in some level. So this card is saying, look at home for you to be able to do that. I just want to be able to read the um, the message from the book because, you know, perhaps my message is a little bit too one-sided here. So it says here, the queen of hearth and home, welcome courtesy and graciousness. She holds the mask of living flame in her hand. This is the eternal hearth fire. In ancient times, people would carry an ember from the hearth they were leaving to their new dwelling place. They carried this link from their past to their future. The queen of hearth and home carries with her the ability to make a home in the moment, in the now, wherever she is. She passes this ability on to you. It is important to be at home in any situation, to create a home when you invite people into your space, whether at a table in a restaurant, a desk at work, a seat next to you on the bus or plane, or in your own home. The ability to make someone feel welcome when entering your space is a gift indeed. Brian says that he always stands up when signing books for people because he feels that he's inviting them into his home and he wouldn't sit while people were standing in his presence. It is his way of creating home wherever he is and where whenever he interacts with people. When this card appears, remember that you are in the presence of a great queen. She gives you the ability to be gracious and create a home wherever you are in any relationship. So that's the message here. So Brian is actually, the the the, um, the, the deck is created by Brian and Wendy Froud. Um, so that's the message uh, to you from the from the author for this card. Well, I hope that has been helpful as you've um, listened to me and listened to the text here. And I um, want to say here that, you know, don't forsake this untapped potential. At the end of the day, if, if the move or the house, the home channeling here that I've just given to you doesn't really resonate, then I think just work with the fact that there's a lot of untapped potential here and um it doesn't need to be hidden it doesn't need you don't need to wait for it to, uh, for the right moment uh right now is the right moment and you can go ahead and do whatever it is that's been waiting for you uh to take a hold of it all right so that's my message for you for those of you who've come here and um i hope that has been helpful and i wish you a lovely week as you go along may you have a fabulous time may you be safe healthy well and blessed as you go along. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising.